and you change to a more peaceful person, to a more serene person. Welcome to this video. This time we want to defer finding a personality or creating a personality. Because some people say you must find your personality, you must find yourself, and others say you must create your personality. We have enough opportunity, we can choose which we want and do the best from it. So what is right now? When you go and finding your personality, it sounds a little bit esoteric or like not really logical because where should you find your person? Where should you find yourself? Nobody knows it. So I think most people would say creating a personality is the best thing because we have nowadays lots of opportunities, not just in the richest countries, but also maybe almost all over the world. There are, even if you are in a poor country, you can find several opportunities to make your life better or to apply for a job. So it's not just that you don't have any choice. But personality is not just the job, it is much more in your life. Also, it, it would just be a job, it, will, it would be still very poor to just live for working. And at this point, it is not to fulfill for everyone when you look on a poor country. So the poor man is still the poor man, even if he has a job, he can't choose other things in his life. In some countries, not all stuff is available. And even if it is available, then there is not enough money to buy it for everyone. But even in the rich countries, even when you have bought everything you want, are you happy then when you really have all cars from all brands and all smartphones and whatever you want and suddenly just one negative message comes on your high-end smartphone and then are you still lucky does the, all this material thing make you lucky so the creation seems to be not just from the outside not just from the material world to create yourself to create your personality must be something deeper something which has a bigger fundament. When we go back to the other side, away from the creation to the personality finding, what can we find in this heart? When we go deeper and not just from the ego perspective or from the material world where exactly the ego lives in and everyone has ego. I did other videos about this. You can find it in the video description down below. When we go back to the self-finding, let's go deeper. Now, let's say we look behind the ego, if there is more, if there is another personality. What is your actual true self? Is it really you which has all these smartphones and all these cars and wants to create a good life just from material stuff? or? Is there something more inside of you, inside of your soul? Several sciences say there's kind of a higher self. You can take philosophy, theology, psychology, all the sciences which deal with the human soul say there is kind of a higher self. And it is also said that most people don't know their higher self because it is more or less hidden because the ego is so overactive. The ego which influences the mind almost all the time is not just overactive but also overthinking and this is a big problem. The research about mindfulness deals with it a lot and when we are at this point now, I can say 
Mindfulness and meditation are very good methods to get access to your own true self. It is not easy and not every meditation method will help you. There are several ones. But where is the true or higher self hidden? It is from our perspective. Psychologists say it is hidden in the unconscious mind. But actually this is not true because the higher self is higher consciousness. It's not just human consciousness, what we have and when we are thinking and feeling emotions and all that normal stuff. This is human consciousness. But there is also higher consciousness and this is our higher self. But in this point, psychology actually is wrong, but from the view of ourself, of our being now, living in the ego and overthinking all the time, from this view, psychologists are right. The higher self is hidden in the unconscious mind, but it just seems so from our view and even from psychologists' view too, because they are involved in their studies. They are not out, they, they, they don't really stand outside of the experiments because they are also a part of it, if they want or not as long as they have unconscious areas and they will have all their life, that's normal. But when you firstly, through meditation, reach your higher consciousness, then you see it is higher than thinking and then all the other stuff. But from the position now, when most people of the world haven't reached it yet, and from this normal view, from this thinking view, from this human consciousness standpoint, it seems to be unconscious. But it's not unconscious, it's just unknown. And this, that's a difference. The higher consciousness is unknown for us, for most of us. And therefore, people strive for other things. And mostly, at least, they suffer from the discontent, it doesn't matter how much material you have, but one day there is a discontent and not just one day. <laughs> Most people suffer from this until they search for more. And when they try to search through meditation and they find higher consciousness, then there will be not just inner peace, which is normal in meditation, there will be more. There, there is kind of bliss in the higher consciousness is an inner harmony from everything. Your soul, they say it's splitted. Sigmund Freud says it is splitted. But when you come in your higher consciousness, there is no split. There is a union and everything is one in here. And, every, and then, therefore, this explains also the inner peace because your Soul parts are like in peace with each other. It's not that super ego and it argues each other. That's over then. There is really peace. And yes, in this case, you can say that's personality finding, that's self finding. When you say you find yourself, you find your higher self. And all other ways of self-finding or touches people have through self-finding are just ego finding are just trying they actually then doesn't really find their self they lost their self in the material world there is no substance there is no essence they destroy themselves, they, they lost themselves in all this stuff and lost their own feelings and lost their substance, their own essence and forget more and more their true self. And when you find yourself, 
then you can also go back from the self-finding part we've talked about to the self-creation part. When you have found your own true self, you are ready to create your ego life too. You create it in different ways. All religions and most of the philosophies talked about to change something, to transform something, and nobody knows what. But when you found your higher self, you are ready to let go your old ego with all that stuff and all that anger and all that sadness which is had which has had before and you change to a more peaceful person to a more serene person and it doesn't matter how poor are you or how rich you are or where you're from you are rich from inside then you have the gold inside of you and you can let it shine when you have the peace and when you are in serenity and enjoy all of this and don't really need anything to buy to make your life better and don't need that people respect you or or to count something in front of people or whatever you don't need anything you automatically get more self-confidence. You don't have to consider and to wish to get more self-confidence. You just get it because you have your inner peace. And that's a very strong fundament to live. And you are rich from the inside. You, you, don't, you are rich in your soul then. And you don't have to buy or need anything from anyone. It's totally the opposite then. Then you suddenly change from needing to giving. You automatically get to wish inside of you to give suddenly. This is also set in religions and most people until now have not get it. I'm not religious or so, but I have uh, read it and in earlier times also didn't get it. What do you mean? Why should I give? Uh, are they silly or what? And later there's a uh, like kind of a mind shift but th this comes automatically but it's not that you give too much or so you also care for yourself but at the same time you are ready also to give it's automatic you forget it don't think about it <laughs> it will come automatically and it will not harm you and or anyone else it's okay let's come to the summary both are actually wrong. Self-finding, personality finding and personality creation. They are actually wrong when you see them from an ego perspective, just from making your life better with material things or with counting in front of people or with getting more respect from others or from judging others, whatever. But both sides, personality finding and personality creations are right when you see them from a higher perspective from when you firstly go in the self-finding and find your own true self and when you are in your own true self when you learn it more and more you can create your life and even your ego too and but it will also change automatically but sometimes you have to adjust a little bit but it's not that hard also if you stay in your higher self, if you meditate and later meditation also goes automatically, you can keep it all day automatically, not just to give any effort or sit around and do just sitting meditation on a special place or so. You can keep the peace all day and you will have a good life from inside. And so you can have a rich day and I hope one day everyone will find this so important solution for everything and if everyone finds it who still will be ready for a war or for other negative things in this world no one so if you want to take something with you from this video tell all people to meditate to reach their higher self just let it shine and everything goes Again, more about the ego down below in the video description to understand this video in 
whole if it was not enough but there are also other videos too on this channel which will be very interesting and go in similar topics i wish you a nice day see you soon bye